So you've decided that you want to start creating content. Congratulations, welcome to the club. We're so happy to have you here. Now, the very next thing on your question list is probably what all do I need? I'm here to help you out. So you actually need a few things and uh, let's run through the list really quick. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna pick up is a camera. One like this will be just fine. I personally am not a huge fan of creating content with your phone. I know, I know everyone says, start with the one in your pocket, start with the one that you have. And while that is a great idea, I am pro having a physical camera. One, if you actually need to use your phone for notes or something, you can still have it and use it. And then two, there's something special about learning to control this device. And I will always advocate for picking up an actual camera. Like I said, first thing you'll need is a camera. The second thing you'll need is a microphone. Cameras are great, cameras are awesome. Uh, the, with the exception of some of the newer cameras, the audio that comes directly from these, not the best. And while you could pick up something like uh, the Rode Wireless Me that I'm using, you could also just stick with the Rode Video Micro um, or some other external audio recording device. Some people use things like this, some people use shotgun mics, some people even use regular mics. I have a blue snowball around here. I've even used a cell phone um, and recorded audio like this because it's better than what comes out of the camera. That's a whole conversation for another day, but essentially you'll need a camera and then you'll need a microphone. The next thing that you'll need is lighting. Most people, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Use the sun. Um, the sun is free and usually if you can film during the day, just set up outside in the shade, set up by a window, uh, and you should be good to go. In the event that you do want to film uh, at night, that's what I'm doing, which is why I have uh, an external light source, or if you want to actually control and shape the light yourself, I recommend this little guy. So this is the Ulanzi 40 watt uh, cob light, pretty inexpensive light, 40 watts. Um, the light that I'm currently using is the 60 watt version from Ulanzi, but I have filmed a couple videos with the 40 watt and it does just fine. It is super bright, super powerful. And uh, as you can see, it is not plugged into anything. This light is battery powered, battery operated. We're just gonna turn that down. This is at one, comes with the little, there you go. And then it even also comes with a diffuser. I recommend this. This has been uh, a game changer, a lifesaver. It's less expensive than things like the Amaranth or any of the other more popular brands that you'll find on YouTube. Ulanzi is just fine. I have been using their products for a few years now. Not this light. This light is relatively new, but I've been using Ulanzi products for a few years now and uh, they hold up pretty well. Also not sponsored. Um, just a fan of the product. Larry from the future here. I'm actually editing this video right now. And there are just a few more things that I wanted to mention before I wrap up this video. The first thing is if you're shooting with a camera, you will need an SD card. I personally like SanDisk. I know a lot of people use Lexar and other memory cards. All of that stuff matters and I probably will make another video about that, but you do need an SD card to shoot with a camera. That is one thing that I kind of left out. The second thing that I want to mention is the music that you choose to use in your videos, if you choose to use music or sound effects, does help make the video even better. And while you can use free options like YouTube Music Library, personally, I use something called Artlist.io. I actually have an affiliate link down in the description. So if you wanna try Artlist out, you'll get two free months whenever you use that link down below. That would help me out a lot. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is if you are more of a reader or you want a document version of this, there's actually a link in the description to my guide that has all of this information. It'll link directly to a kit on kit.co where you can check out the exact gear that I'm using. All of those links are affiliate links. I do wanna disclose that. So if you use them, I will get a little bit of a kickback, but it's also you know a way to help support me and support this channel. So just dropping those few nuggets here. And now back to the video. The last thing that you'll really need to get started creating content and taking this more seriously is the ideas and the work ethic. I know you have ideas because you want to get into this. Uh, you just have to find them and 
develop them and write them down and be consistent with them. When it comes to the work ethic, that's the hard part. That's the part that everybody struggles with. It's so easy to be inspired and say, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to start an Instagram. I'm going to start a TikTok. I'm going to start a whatever insert platform here. And you so you get so gung ho, you get so motivated. And then two weeks, four weeks in, six weeks in, it gets hard because you're either not seeing the results you want to, or it's just the inspiration fades. What is going to push you past all of that is falling in love with the process. And that is the secret to getting better at anything. You have to fall in love with the process. Whenever you get into this uh, genre, into this art form, into this medium, you really need to fall in love with learning all of the tools and all of the techniques and just practicing and doing the work. The views and the success and the everything else will come, but you need to fall in love with the process to get better. Those are just a few things that I wanted to share with you in case you're watching this and you're saying, I want to become a content creator. What do I need? These are the things that you need. The next step that you need to take is to actually do it. I would love to be a part of your journey. If you are starting this journey, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to interact with you and uh, let's build this community and help each other grow and help each other learn. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G. I appreciate you and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.